All right, what up everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. So quick video this time, of course I say that every single time, never ends up being a quick video, but I don't know how I could possibly drag this video out to be, video out to be long. Um, but there is a new report that the PS5 Pro is in development and has a release window. This report comes from Tom Henderson at Inside Gaming, which who has a like a, a great track record of getting this stuff right. I don't know if he's ever been wrong before in any of these reports or rumors. He usually ends up being right, so I have no no reason to question the man. Unlike the rest of you fake insiders and and frauds putting out rumors and stuff like that, this man actually seems to always know what he's talking about. So the rest of y'all shut up and stay in y'all place. Know your role, Jabroni. Um not that you had to be an insider to know that this was coming. I mean, it's happened the last couple of generations, new uh, iterations and mid-gen refreshes, so you didn't need to be an insider for that. Uh, but the release window um, that they are saying that PlayStation 5 Pro is going to launch in will be late 2024. So, the and this lines up with previous generation uh, release, you know, release dates for mid-gen refreshes. Uh, the PS4 Pro came out November 16th, uh, 2016. Uh, which was yeah about f that, well that was four years was that four that was four years after the PlayStation well no that was like three and a half years after the uh, PlayStation launch yeah that was about, that was about three years actually after the after the PS4 uh, launch so they usually do it you know three a little bit after three years three years of some change um, after the original vanilla console launches and so this is no surprise and I've seen some people say oh who wants this i'm like what what are we talking about <laughs> the same people who wanted it before the same people who who have purchased ps playstation slims or play, play, playstation pros in the past or any xbox mid-gen refresh those are the people who want it I'm like i don't understand this stupid ass question you know th it's the same people whether people want a slim because it's more compact and, and lightweight or people whether people want a a pro because it's, it, you know, it, it provides marginal uh, improvements in performance and resolution. Sometimes that's good enough for people. It's, it's suddenly good enough for me as far as consoles go. Listen, if I can get, let's say, ballpark average 7 to 10 frames or something like that, I'm going to take that. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that. That's an, that's an easy, like, trade-off to me because for me... It's not, you don't have to buy a brand new console. What I always do is I always just sell the, the old console I have and buy the new one. And between doing that, I usually end up spending like maybe $100. So yeah, I mean, for, to some people, $100 for marginal increases is, is, is wild, but not to me. I think to me, it's worth it. If, if I can, if you, know, if you give me a, con, a, a console, a mid-gen refresh console and say, hey, uh, remember that game before that ran like that hovered around uh, 45 frames? Hey, this one, this one is closer to 60, right? It, it, it drops down maybe to like 57, but it mostly stays at 60 this time. Hell yeah, I'm going to take that. Why, why wouldn't I? That's great to me. Now I can have a locked 60 or close to being locked um, game performance. So I see no, I see no issue. Like I, I never, I don't understand where this who wants this? And and it was only I guess I don't know if it's a, if like the few people I saw don't don't rep. It was it was more people than I expected to see saying this type of uh you know th this notion because uh, I'm like why well, how is this different from anything else we gotten in, in previous years? Like is something different about this generation that y'all felt we weren't gonna get mid gen refreshes? Was it the pandemic or something like that? Is 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 this case? this generation different in some way that mid-gen refreshes are like weird or odd because i don't i don't see it as, as being odd i think i don't know I, th I think they're just as welcome and make just as much sense as they did in in any other previous generation um so yeah i'm down for it listen i, I want all the performance that you can possibly squeeze out of these consoles i i want it it's it's definitely worth it to me like i said i'll trade in or sell the old console i have Give me these ones that perform a little bit better, that have more stable frame rates and better re resolution. If I can, like I said, if I can get the 45 to, to between 55 and 60, I'll take it. If I can get the um, 
the tw- the 1200, you know, those weird obscure resolutions, that 1200p game to be locked at native 1440p or higher, or may- maybe like 18. And, and some people are saying that these are going to target 4K 60 lock. And, you know, like the four, the chasing the, the, the native 4, 4K resolution to me is like it's, it's not really necessary um, as you know, technology has shown it, it's really pointless because sometimes you can't even tell the difference with all this technology they have now. So it's kind of pointless. So whatever you can do in, in resolution or performance bump, I'm here for it. That's all I really got to say. Let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think have maybe y'all haven't thought these were worth it in the past and maybe you didn't upgrade. I always have day one. So let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. I'll catch y'all on the next video. All right. I'm out of here. Peace.